Welcome to a Drop Tent Media Production. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Slap Six Sports. We got an Olympic level podcast in store for you today. Sitting across from me, we got the one and only from Cold of Us Podcast yeah. and Porcupine Podcast. Yeah. And if you pick any random podcast <laughs> on Apple List, and you'll probably find them on that too. Adam Nutter, everybody. Accurate. Hey. Accurate. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Of course, <laughs> always behind the computers, we got our co host. Um, yeah, it's the only podcast you do. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Pedraza. <laughs> yeah, I'm only a, a one Yeah. <laughs> I'm loyal. That's the thing. Well, he's kind of the third Mike on cult. Yeah, I have to. There we go. And also there. in the background of Cold of Us. Yeah, he's yeah. kind Jesse of our punching bag, which is fun. Yeah, you, yeah. Need that. you need that. We need a fat chubby guy to be up. <laughs> you, need, you, need like, you need like an Adam Friedland <laughs> of the podcast. Yeah, we need a... We need a little handsome chubby boy to fucking push around. Yeah, right. Marvelous. Call you handsome. Handsome. That's nice. Thank you. I mean, you're losing your hair, but handsome. <laughs> Dear God. A little bit. <laughs> I am your third host, Garrett Monica. I'm also only on this podcast. Yeah. Only only on the best podcast. I yeah, only do yeah, the right. best podcast. The best ones. Yeah. The only ones Donovan we can have listens to. Yes. Right. <laughs> the exactly. most important ones. You already said it. Yeah. <laughs> you already said the most important ones. So now that we have that established. Um, oh, wait. Before we... I have to... Oh, yeah. I was, right about the, I was right about to jump. Let's go. This piece of shit. Shit on me. I'm so high right now. And he was like, <laughs> you're so high right now. Throw me the weed. And I still threw it right to his fucking hands. And that... Which is better than when impressed. he throws it to me. Not... High, so let's all keep in mind. I'm still a better athlete. No, whenever high. I'm working for you, I'm high. <laughs> all right, well, so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. fair, but so, I'm yeah. still a better, <laughs> way high athlete. Allegedly, for my future employers, we'll <laughs> we'll we'll make um weed passing an Olympic sport, and then we'll go from there. See what you see. You guys, hey, the goal. already doing it. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which, how the fuck did they make it? <laughs> like, I was gonna say, yeah, I was saying that. I was like, how did the uh, people like not piss hot for pot yeah i know it's crazy uh, oh, but snowboarding too mind. i always thought for years they also are like 14 i gotta keep that I was in mind say, right yeah the, so? the, like, <laughs> right the medal winners were at least well they were doing terrible like if you watch the event or like i saw highlights of the event on tiktok uh so where you get your information from pretty much yeah. um they were fucking just doing ter- like they were falling all over the place who the youngins no, like all the old dudes, all the ones doing the skateboarding. Yeah, because they're like thirty, and all their bones are shattered. Yeah, they're from fucking years joints. Fucking joints are blown. Taking half pipe falls for forty feet. Right. <laughs> like, no, but I think course. I think they sucked because they were like they weren't vibing. Like the X Games is a vibe. Mm. The That's Olympics. interesting, right? Because it's, it's okay. like everyone at the X Games looks like Adam. Yeah. And that's and what they're used to seeing. And now everyone's everyone's going to the Olympics, seeing all this clean, fresh sports gear. You're right. Everyone's wearing white for some reason. Yeah. You in need Japan. Means around. You need you need just for the X Games. Yeah. See. Yeah. But for the uh, the Olympics, it's a completely different vibe. Uh, it's yeah. almost like a nerdy, like skateboard. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like we're technically good. Yeah. Like, it's like are you a nerd and you want to like push him over his fucking skateboard? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah you, you can't because that'd be assault of a minor. Uh, so easy though. Yeah, it is really easy to beat up kids. <laughs> so easy. Yeah. Do how many two year olds do you think you could beat up and just until you're just a bunch of two year olds? I think I think all of them in how, the world. Yeah. How yeah. many could you take before they take overtake you? Zero. It's, all of them. It's not so much how they overtake you; it's before you get bored. Yeah, tired. And you're just like, I'm like kind of done with this. Also, this like, I don't bet. even need a weapon. That's so true. You could just punch him in the face; they'll probably die. Yeah. They're two. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, yeah. hypothetical. You just need to put your foot up a little bit. Yeah. Like they'll never gang up on you. That's right. true. They are selfish. They're dumb. <laughs> yeah. All you need to do is like throw your cell phone. They'll follow it. And they'll be like, oh, I don't play games. And just like th- think about them. how many two-year-olds are on the world. Uh, a few million? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're really undershooting. Yeah. How many? How many two? Two year? year yeah, how many people? Yeah, I guess. How many people pull out? Come on. <laughs> like, how many two year olds are there in the I world? I think of like the Philippines. Doesn't matter. Like I could beat seasonal. all of them up. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, good. matter. Yeah, Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. It's it's infinite. They're, they're two, easy. Infinite two year olds. Yeah. You. Your your biggest competition would be sleep. Yeah. Be like I, I have to go to bed at some and point. And even guys. when I'm sleeping, they still won't team up on me. Hmm. They'll, they'll be sleeping too. Debatable. There's the <laughs> probably a lot of them already asleep. Yeah. So you just walk up to them and there's some two you know, get them there. They don't call them the terrible tooths for nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, but oh, that, so we'll there's be, only yeah. there's only two people called terrible. Yeah, but they're twos only, and Ivan. Right. Okay. So we'll, we'll be okay, doing, but hold on. Devil's we'll be doing advocate. A favor. Devil's advocate. Yeah. They only call them terrible twos because you can't hit them. <laughs> exactly. That's what yeah, I was saying. We're doing. If you can hit them, they just be called twos. Yeah, they wouldn't be an issue. You're right. no, they'd, be, they'd, be, yeah. they'd, be, they'd be called a one, two. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Here yeah. we are, the number one sports podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Where we talk about our favorite topic, hitting children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's not an Olympic sport I, yet. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't think that's a podcast yet. That could, <laughs> <laughs> Send us your kids. Yeah. <laughs> We'll fucking hit him. We'll we're breed him <laughs> to be <laughs> Olympic athletes. Jesus Christ, I needed to finish hey. that sentence. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I, I, we do not <laughs> <laughs> represent Jesse's thoughts. They represent Garrett and myself. <laughs> yes. I Still. finished that sentence, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Too long of a pause. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I didn't know where I was going with it. <laughs> it's when comedic timing turns into dramatic timing. Yes. <laughs> That's when comedic timing turns into crime. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, my uh, God. Anyway, so. <laughs> I guess let's just, let's just pour right into the Olympics then. Yeah, go we'll, ahead. We'll, we'll go into that. Um, like, it's not like most of the world is watching it. I heard, like, the Olympics are a big thing. I, I don't give a shit. Right anymore, there. It's also really annoying to try to catch the Olympics because you can't watch every event now. Back yeah, then, right. you should, yeah. back then you used to catch. You go to NBC and it's like we show like everything. Now it's like NBC, CBS, then Peacock gets into it. It's like what the yeah. fuck? Like I want to watch what I want to watch. Dude, but not even that. Like back in the day, they just showed you like four sports. Actually, they right. just showed you yeah. like track and field, swimming, basketball, and like gymnastics. That's it. Yeah. They didn't show anything else. I was going like, to say they only show four sports, and it's four different types of running. And like, that's <laughs> it. It's like, oh, that, the Olympics are great. It's like, oh, they had yeah, badminton? What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of goofy shit. Right. Do you see the air pistol? Yes. Oh, you talk about- How did America lose? You, you, you talk about- no, America <laughs> air pistol? Oh, no. Air, one, America won air rifle. Air rifle. Air um, pistol is different. You want to talk about fucking making shit nerdy? Air rifle makes fucking- Shooting guns nerdy as hell. It does. It they're makes like, it not cool. They're like sitting there sideways peeking in. Okay. And like it's dude the uh, it's wh- like imagine if- imagine you're able to like to hold the rifle on your eye because there's no recoil. Right. So you just have these people like these fucking scrawny people oh. just like looking in <laughs> uh, yeah. and it doesn't do anything. Like it's just like not even really. La- there's it's not like even a bang. <laughs> yeah. It's like an airsoft oh, gun. Damn. It's exactly it's an yeah. airsoft gun. Yeah, you know it is. Yeah. yeah it, it, it was also no threat of getting killed. So it was like you know you right. Just yeah, sit yeah. There. The no air, two year olds in the field, though. easy targets. The easy targets. Right. You kill them all day. <laughs> uh, oh, the Ukraine guy, if you could pull, I mean, you don't have to, but it's funny. The Ukraine dude, yeah. the, his el- his elbow was like hyper extended up, like oh, like, like a like a bird, like da- yeah, like da- I'm like you fucking nerd. Like that's all I can think of. Right. Was like you know, like and like and if he wins, like you could say you have an Olympic medal. That's crazy. Yeah, and he's like yeah. 18. We shouldn't give those out anymore. Like you have to, it's you have really to earn it. its value. You have to I earn feel it like physically. Yeah, too many events. Too many events. We're talking yeah. like soccer. Like they don't give a fuck about that Olympic goal. Like they care right. about the World Cup. Right. Like you know what I mean. Like, but basketball too. So I'm saying hockey. Like like. Well, basketball th- needs to change its rule. Like they're changing the rules because of the fouls. No, but still, <laughs> and right. still, do- and how they're losing right but now. But that's pathetic. We, we shouldn't have well, to get fouled to fucking dominate these clowns. I know, but we became soft. We did. Yeah. 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 Did we cast the NBA's fault? Yeah, no, we yeah we, we it was that last episode we discussed how they reversed it pretty much like they the the Olympics um became like basketball became a sport and they're right. like U.S. is like actually basketball is way too physical of a sport <laughs> yeah. for people like yeah. so we need to like make the uh, we need to make the rules a little bit stricter so when it reaches a global scale they have more of a chance mm-hmm. and then they did that they made it easier on the Olympics and they just brought that back to the U.S. And now we're seeing all these, you know, horrible penalties we talk about. Right. While the rest of the world, like, is getting physical. 
Yeah, seriously. That's why, again, I love the uh, Pistons in the 70s or, like, you know, the, like, uh, Hard Knocks. Right. The, like, the Bill yeah. Lambeer days and, like, uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas and, like, there's, I remember, like, w- watch that fucking 30 for 30. I'm telling you, it's fucking great. Like, they're just, like, they're interviewing them. Like, three times already. They, well, I don't care. I'll plug it every fucking... That and Donovan <laughs> that McNabb, stone. we plugged every episode. We're, we're, we're pulling pretty back. Sure that's the only thing you've watched on basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the finals. Like, you didn't even right. watch The Last Dance. Like, stop talking about that. Yes, I did. I love The Last Dance. Oh, I fucking... I like, love The Last Dance. Uh, that, that was incredible. That was essentially a Jordan documentary. <laughs> right. Guys under, like... That's true. The Bulls. No, I know, oh, sure. I know. Um, they're doing like a Jeter one though, apparently. Are they? Yeah, which it's gonna be get... boring. Shut the fuck up! I'll fight you. Look, all the times I ate sunflower seeds and crushed hot <laughs> pussy. I'll yeah. just watch a documentary on that. <laughs> fuck, fuck baseball. Yeah, uh, baseball be a minor part of Dude, that. Dude, not for nothing. And like this is this is why uh, we all love sports. I think like those moments that are just like just go down in history. Like his last at bat at Yankee Stadium was literally like unwrite. It was like a writable his- movie moment. Mm. It was like you know, man on second. They should have walked him. Yeah. They didn't, and then he fucking like walked off, singled like which is like classic right field, like which is Derek Jeter's like classic, you know, right. like yeah, signature yeah. like hit. It was like I remember crying. I, was, I literally teared up. You cried. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Nice. He's, you, you understand, dude? I'm gay, and also, <laughs> <laughs> and also, oh, man, I'm so happy he came out. <laughs> and also, no, but you like, yeah, do it on the pod, man. I yeah. was like ten well, years. I hope old. our numbers go up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> gay host Adam Nutter. Yeah, gay host Adam Nutter. I'll take it for numbers. I don't care. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mega. <Maggie. Yeah. laughs> Whatever. Um, I was 10 years old when sucks he was a, a rookie. Pride. It sucks a pride month's over because I've been huge. Yeah, it missed the timing. I, really I wasted I wasted yeah. all myself. Okay, you heard it here, folks. He heard here first, folks. If it's not during pride month, it's a waste, it's a waste. of coming out. That's a corporation's thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, For money people. If uh, Yeah, because uh, I was nine when he was like in the league, like ninety five, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I literally grew up with Derek Jeter. And, like every how many year. games did you go to? Did a lot. Just, oh, okay. That yeah. went to a lot. I guess from, not not when I was like younger, younger because my we didn't have like money. Like my, mm-hmm. my I, like my dad didn't like make money until we were like, and I say make money. He didn't earn like a regular middle class salary <laughs> until we were <laughs> until we were like I was like junior highish. Okay. So we started going like a lot in, like junior like junior high high school gotcha. and then like college and stuff obviously because we would just get yeah. you know drunk and shit and go. But I I would a lot dude like hundreds of games for sure over, since of course my my whole life. But like uh, I didn't know you went to college. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe crazy law enforcement. What? You learn law enforcement history. history? Oh, I'm majoring in history. Then becoming a cop makes a lot of sense. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> you can take anything. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. To, to, not to derail. Are you saying you went from you going to games, watching Derek? Oh TV. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so like, I literally every like Yankee championship in my lifetime, he literally helped win. <laughs> yeah. Like that's true, and, and even right. all the losses too. He's part of obviously. Like every so like I, my whole Yankee fandom, this guy was a part of up until obviously just kind of recently. Mm. So like watching that, yeah, of course I fucking teared up. Like I think any yeah. true sports fan over there, like hometown guy, would. Well, if any, if you've seen anyone for like ten years. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I literally sure. grew up with him. It's not like it's not like like uh, even when Paul Neal retired and stuff. Like I was sad. Yeah. To, but like it's not the it's not the same because like he also got traded in. Like you know, a lot of these, Tino Martinez again. Like people remember them as Yankees for life, but like he was a Mariner before that. Right. You, you know, like he got, he got traded, but Jeter, he was a fucking Yankee, dude. Like he was mm. a farm system Yankee. Like you know, like guys, like guys like that. You're like, fuck yeah, like, yeah, right. You don't see that shit anymore. Anyway. I, I think it also helps that he did go out on such a great note. Yeah, like if you had like a Brett Favre thing, where it's yeah, like, exactly. It's just like oh, he went out on a fucking whimper, right? And you just true. see that, and you're like, oh, like you want to cry, but you're also like, that's embarrassing, <laughs> right? Like, like, well, that's yeah. the thing, and like, like. Yeah, like that Brett Favre. Even when he retired, I teared up because like, it's like a fucking all time. Ho- and then when he came back, I was like, "Oh, I cry for nothing, you fucking asshole." <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you do it's that? It's like, and then, yeah. and, then, and, then, and then he retired again. I was like, "Fuck you!" Right? Like, you're just, I was just mad. Like yeah. you know, I was like, yeah. "No, you don't get to do that." Go back home. <laughs> like, right. yeah, fuck you. You've lost. You 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 blew it. Yeah. You right. blew your moment. Like I am a suck. Like when Brady retires, I, I guarantee I'll cry. Yeah. Because right. it's like it's a yeah. generational athlete we'll never see again, or the likelihood. Is so fucking slim. Yeah, we probably have a lot of years left in our life, but come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. never seen a Brady before, so my math says <laughs> probably won't see it again for sixty years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For right. So, so like when he retires, like yeah, man, you're gonna shed a tear because like wow, this all time great athlete is gone, and yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And with and with these uh, once in a lifetime athletes, uh, I'm gonna segue into um, one of the last Olympic topics. 
with uh, Simone Biles. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I don't really know what fully happened. Right. I figured, I so figured we talk about it today, honestly, yeah. so I didn't look into it. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're, yeah. we're, in, we're a sports news source for you. <laughs> Adam's learning on the job. Um, basically, what occurred is she's – this isn't solo events. This is team Olympic events right. that are all together, and the team, the points. So she, they're relying on her as well. Mm. Uh, they're doing pretty good. Simone was seemed like a little bit off, and then she dropped out because she wasn't feeling – good she wasn't like emotionally there yeah um so she dropped out and let the rest of the team compete and they got like silver or something they got yeah they got silver so and here's weird. here's yeah, here's where here's mm. here's like where like i mean we ran into the same thing with osaka which we've discussed um kind of like getting into the emotional health of the athlete and yes emotional health or, or you say mental health overall is very important for any any kind of uh anyone competing especially at that level yeah. Um, but I really just want to know, like, you know, even though I, I think Simone's the greatest uh, gymnastics person I'll ever see in my lifetime, mm -hmm. she's one of a kind. Yeah, seriously. She's literally the, the goat right now. Yeah, she she reminds she was like the reincarnation of what's her face in the nineties. The <sighs> not even. I don't. She has moves named. Was that? Her. Was that <laughs> she's what, like, I'm were saying, the Olympics like, in like black and white during that time? Yes. What the fuck? Like, but no, there was a oh, uh, there was like a fucking. She was like 14 at the time. But, but right, I, but dude. I'm so sorry. I cannot think of her fucking. But she was like the yeah. name in American. Like, but for the long no until that's what I'm saying until so until well, her. Yeah. Right. She was literally the name in like all time great right. American. So that's how good she is. Is my yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of her fucking name. I'm so sorry. Simo. Uh, I look it up. Uh, um, you guys talk about it. I'm she's I'm she's it so good though. Like, she has moves banned. Like she can't do certain. <laughs> she she's not allowed Yo, to do that's certain such moves. A crazy thing, right? To ban a move, like to, it's because uh, she's black. That's <laughs> if it was some Russian beauty queen, you'd be like, "Holy fuck, she's changing the game." But no, they're just tired of her winning, uh, and they're just like, yeah, "Well, we're gonna ban some be, moves. We yeah, can't, we can't, that. we can't do that." that. It's yeah, like that yeah. the one black figure skater uh, that was, I think, in the early two thousands. She could do backflips during figure skating. No one else could do that, so they banned that. They're like, you can't, what the fuck, you can't really? do that. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's okay. like some shit. Like, oh, uh, it's racism. Yeah, um, yeah. But going back to this idea, like, do do greatest of all time oh. Sorry. quit? Oh god, I like, um, it's really, it's, it's really hard weird because it's like, I think she just needs. Here's the thing. Here's the difference because she's under the same pressure as Michael Phelps. Right. Right being the face of the olympics and being the face of like that that whole entire like you're the face of the world <laughs> right you really are like you know what i mean the spotlight's so, on you yeah so right. i can't imagine that type of pressure and obviously she's such a perfectionist she fucked up and she's just like i can't i don't know man it's weird because it's like i don't i don't know where to go with this like i'm saying like because so many people so many athletes what made them incredible is they played under that kind of pressure. Right. I'm not sure how this will be moving forward with events, especially with people that are considered greatest of all time, if, like, part part of being really good but is when the pressure's really on you and you still perform. Yeah, but also, like, I mean, like, Jordan is not a healthy person. <laughs> like, he is isn't. That, yeah, you know You're what Mike? I mean? Yeah, Michael. Yeah, we talked about this before, though. But like, but you, we talk, again. I'll I'll die on this fucking hell with that with sports. You, if you want to be that great, that's how you have to think. Sorry, you you cannot be normal. But I think we're getting to a point where that's we're aware of mental health, and we're drawing a, like we're beginning to draw. Right, but then people, you're not going to be that great. It's you're not. If you're going to live, can me, be. I think people I don't, can achieve that. But I, think, I don't know. Dude. I think it's going to be. A, a fixing of like how you're gonna approach the game mentally as well like i think the mental part of it because that competition is like it's gymnastics is like judgment it's not one-on-one -on -one, you know what i mean where it's like i'm gonna take this motherfucker down you know what i mean you're doing it and it's like other people are judging you so it's like it's harder i guess in that sense because you're trying to achieve something so specific right but it's you also, I mean, I mean it, w it was still, it was a team event, but also. No, I know. Um, and that's, a, and that's uh, the fucked up part about right. it, right? It's like she bowed out on her team. Yeah. And she's like the star player. So it's No, like, see, this, this is we, where, like, okay. I, I, again, I'm a former athlete speaking, but, like, as, as 
Yeah, we're I, all we're all Olympic level athletes. So totally. we, we actually completely relate. Totally so. relate. No, right. but we can relate to being in a team. I can relate to being in a team sport where someone's relying on you. I mean, right. literally, I have this happened to us. I mean, me, and my yeah, personal yeah. past, right? So like, yeah. there's a thing where it's like if you're the leader, and you're accepting that role as leader. Hey, we all have fucking mental health problems. Like we all do. Like you gotta fucking. You gotta go through. You gotta play. Like you right. got it. Like like it's like that's like Tom Brady. Like I don't know. I'm not feeling the Super Bowl today. You're I Tom don't... Brady. You gotta feel the Super Bowl today, Tom. Like it's right. even you're even that if great. your mind is saying no, like you uh, have as, to push through. As I know being, it's as, not easy, but I agree. I okay to an extent. I agree, but also I think we're just entering a new world, and I think right. I feel. I, think, I do feel you that. Know what I mean, like so. I think athletes are judging. How much are they willing to do? Yes, I. You know what I mean. I agree with you, but I'm and I'm saying you're sure, but with that comes you're not gonna hit Jordan level. I don't think you. I think you can. I don't think you can. All I because right. like if you then we hear just him, on that. sure, but if like you hear him speak, like and again in the last dance, like what he's saying to get himself to that oh level to God. win. I know it's, yeah, it's I know. no one's doing that. No. And who the fuck is better than Jordan? He's also an asshole. It's, also, like, it's a lot of things. Stupid. Sure. He is an asshole, but you gotta <laughs> be, I'm not using that against him. No, but you I'm got saying, like, again, you got, right. I think to get no, to that, yes, up do. I think to get to a level of that success, to be a true goat an all time great where you are. Think about how many great basketball players there are from LeBron James, all the way down to fucking Will Chamberlain to Larry Bird, right? All of them, mm. all of them. Michael Jordan's name is in everyone's fucking mouth as a goat. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because why? What's the difference between all of them? I'm telling right. you it's his mental attitude. Kobe is a close fucking second to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Because Kobe also, I mean, unfortunately he's dead now, so we're not going to get like a full final like last I dance mean, with him. I mean, he his career. So. No, no, no. But yeah, I'm, yeah. As in like an interview style where he can oh, yeah, reflect yeah, yeah, in his yeah. career and be like right, this, right, right, right. which I would love to hear. Because right. like I oh, just saw a great he, clip he, of he's him. He's also a sociopath. Uh, but he has to be. And right. that's why he's that cold, great too. Cold blood killer. Yeah. There's a clip of him on the Olympic team with LeBron. I think it was LeBron's first Olympic year. Yeah, when right? he was talking trash to the Spanish dude. Dude. Yeah. And his but the, I got goosebumps. Fucking ridiculous. I got, goo <laughs> I got legitimate goosebumps from that. Because Kobe was Spanish like. Spanish what? To shit talk? <laughs> yes. Because Kobe's like, I'm going to shit talk you in Spanish. And then I'm going to fucking dunk on you. Yeah. Eat my dick. Like, that's the type of shit and craziness that I think you have to hit. Right. To, like, like, again, wait 10 years when Tom Brady has a thing like this. I guarantee you we're like, oh, shit, he's dark as fuck. Yeah. Because you don't get to be that great. Like, even he was on that fucking HBO show recently, Tom, mm -hmm. talking about, I like, uh, I think it's LeBron's show. Was, yeah. Yeah, the show. Okay. Yeah, and there was yeah, that yeah. clip going around with him. And, I, I, again, he would just, he would just be like, uh, if I know they have a tr – this is, this is why you know he's a fucking ruthless sociopath. Because a little bit of how he really speaks came out. Yeah. yeah. And he <laughs> said, if I know they have a trash cornerback. Right. <laughs> I'm going to him every yeah. day. <laughs> which means yeah. that's how he really, which I love. That's why, that's why I true, truly do true love colors. Tom. I, I've completely 180 on Tom. Like, again, as yeah. a Giants fan. <laughs> as a Giants I, I, fan. Yeah, as an Eagles again, fan. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. so we don't have that. Right. Again, I say this all the time. We don't have that harbor of hatred right. on him. Right, yeah, yeah, So yeah. I could truly appreciate, like, his mental greatness and his true greatness in football. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, that's the Tom I want to hear. Yeah. That's the shit I want to hear him be like. Mm -hmm. This piece of shit thinks he can stop me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show him what's up. Yeah. And that's what I. And that's true greatness right there. I'm telling you. That's why, right. as great as like Dan Marino was, where's your rings, Dan? Yeah, you could be like, oh, his team. Sure, whatever. You're telling me that Tom Brady's offense, traditionally, who had like one or two great receivers, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the Patriots, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's yeah. like he had a stacked offense. Yeah. It's him being that good. Right, like and it's because you gotta be like I'm fucking crazy, <laughs> like I'm right. crazy, like I just, I'm sorry. That's, that's so yeah. Maybe you think you can. Maybe you can. Yeah. I don't think you can. I think there's. I think this is the beginning of a blueprint where we can get to that, right? But you're right. I guess. How can you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you're mentally <laughs> unstable, yeah. yeah. I guess you're gonna be great. <laughs> right. It comes with. It's like that. It's like that thing where like they say like there's a percentage of CEOs of major companies that have psychopathic tendencies. Yeah. Right. It's like yeah, you have to <laughs> to get to a level to run that much shit and be that high up and be like you yeah. have to be fucking a little and, off. And dude. not feel bad for all the fucking yes. fingers you yes. stepped on. That's exactly yeah. like, what it is. Right. Yes. Yeah. We're we're en we are entering a new age of athletes. You know, we're we're really starting to emphasize. Or emphasize have empathy, or at least are showing the more vulnerable side mm -hmm. of their life as an athlete. 
Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, well, I think that comes with social. I mean, like social media, really, right? The game, right? Right? Because like you're putting a a, a portrait of yourself. Because I like Jordan, he didn't have to do that. Like, I guess he's the closest to doing that because he has like such a campaign around him where it felt like he knew what the fuck he was doing. But you know, yeah, like. So I yeah, it's different. different. No, there'll be, there'll be no social media back in the nineties and eighties. No, that's what so, I'm saying. Yeah, like, so it's like, like, yeah, but it's like, so they didn't have to deal with real like because social media amplifies everything. Amplifies yeah. the fuck out of everything. Of course, you know what but I mean. But that's also going to show you like again, like that's why the last dance was so great. How many people came out to see Jordan and there's no social media like. Yeah. Right, it's just legitimate word of mouth, and like just the five channels or ten channels, it fifteen arguably, channels. Like, it arguably like, made him more popular. Yeah, because he was wild. he was on the yes. tube. Like, like, oh shit, that's Michael Jordan. Oh, and you had to go see him or watch him on like, yeah. like if they weren't playing. Don't forget, they weren't playing a national game. Right, you couldn't watch him. So you had to be local Chicago, like you know that whatever broadcast they go out to. Or if he had an appearance, you had to go fucking watch him. Or when he came to town, you had to go to your team to watch him smash your team. But, like, there was no, like, you can't, like, we just watch, like, I don't have to watch uh, Lakers games. I just watch LeBron highlights. Like, oh, that's what happened? All right, cool. Yeah. On Twitter. <laughs> like, I don't, yeah. there's none of that shit back then. I agree. I yeah. mean, but I think the thing that, like, separates the greats is, like, tragedy in the fucking very beginning. How so? Trauma? In, this, like, in the sense of, like, with, uh, uh, Jordan didn't make the team when he was younger, right? Oh, so you mean, like, they need, like, a, like, an itch, yeah, like, an itch like, on their, like, like, a, pe- like Brady, a chip on their Brady shoulder. Yeah. Which yours is really hurting a lot right now. It is so much. Yeah. <laughs> so much. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, He's Brady getting drafted in the seventh round. Not even in the seventh round. In Michigan, oh, he was right. even number one. That's right. So it's like you have to – I think part of being great was the little bit of, like, salt in the wound. Right? Yeah. In the very beginning to be like, these motherfuckers will never try me again. <laughs> yeah, I think that for sure helps. There's, 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 a, lot, there's a lot that Manning goes into it. Have that, you know what I mean? Peyton Manning was I like agree. groomed from the beginning. Yes. This motherfucker is going to be the greatest of all time. And of Not, course, yeah. Uh, again, great. One, two Super Bowls, meant to four. That's super hard. I, I miss more than most quarterbacks who ever even go into the NFL. Yeah. But again, let's be honest who's better, him or, him or Tom Brady? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, cause I don't think, again, I don't, Peyton's like, oh, I'm funny. And, Tom, <laughs> and, and, to, and Tom's like, that yeah. guy's trash. Right. <laughs> yeah. Also, in the interview, he's like, he's like, he's like, all week, though, I tell, I tell the media, he's like, oh, that guy, he's so good, man. I don't know how anybody can please pass it over there. He, he's like, the whole time thinking, like, I'm going to fucking attack him all week. Like, right. Yeah, that's true. That's. It's it's that I th- I think what goes into the psychology because we're licensed uh, sports psychologists. <laughs> um, it goes into that, and some people would deem it unhealthy, um, of that obsessive nature of performing, of right. being like I have to fucking get this. There's no way I'm not going to get it. And we've all done stuff under pressure. We're comics. Yeah. And if you go in, if you go into like a situation like oh I'm gonna fucking bomb or like yeah. I don't feel like doing com I don't feel like doing comedy like right now or whatever the fuck or you're you know you got a show coming up and you're like about to walk out and you have that thought of like oh man I'm not I'm not really feeling it today mm-hmm. but you have to tell that fucking thought to be like no shut the fuck up dude yeah. like no yeah. like it's time to go and you perform yeah. and there's I guess it's also that perfectionist of being like the fear of failure like what if I fucking bomb what if I do horrible mm-hmm. well then bomb. Like you still yeah, go out yeah, and perform. Yeah. Like you yeah. can't, you can't no show. And yeah. at least that's that's what's really perplexing me on this topic is the fact Same. that you're 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 meant to like go out and do this. Um, there's gonna be times you don't feel like fucking doing it. Yeah. And you're gonna have to do it anyway. That's why you're where you're at. Yeah. So yeah. we're giving like room. Uh, maybe I'm not phrasing this right, but we're creating this like almost leeway of like you, and that's where it's gonna get questionable of like. Goat status is if like you don't show up to perform, you can choose to opt out. Like, right, that's could, not because right. that's what I'm saying. Jordan yeah, flu game, saying. right? Or but flu poison, yeah. food poison yeah, the game. Food po- yeah, whatever. It's it like was. he, like if that's me. I'm like, hey guys, I'm dying. So have fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's been it's been great. <laughs> it's yeah, been a good yeah. run. <laughs> like you know, like but he's like, nah, I'm gonna go out and then destroy. Right. Yeah. Like he went off. And and they say, well, it's not mental health. You're right. It's physical. It's worse in a way. For sport, for sports, it's worse, right? Because like it's physically draining. Yeah, like you physically can't perform. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So like, in, 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 
I have a hard time being like. No, I get you. I get it. This, uh, this, is, this is interesting. It's just yeah. yeah right. It's like sure. you gotta you gotta compete, man. That, yeah, we all have it. And again, it's like fine. And if you wanna be like, well, mental health is important, and I, I have to think, okay, fine. But then again, with that comes, you're not the goat. Then, mm. like it, it, everything has consequences to it. This world of like, I need it my way, and that's how it is, and no consequences. Hey, that's bullshit, man. It's mm. not real life. I know people want it to be, especially the younger generation wants to do that, but it's not how it is. It's like, no, 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 that's fine, man. I get it. I'm not shitting on her for being like, I have to step out. Okay, great. Right. People, people yeah. do have, yeah, mental health is really important. But I'm not going to sit right. here and also be like, all, and I also think now you're still the goat. Nope. Yeah. If Jordan misses right. shit, if Brady misses shit, if Jeter misses shit, I wouldn't look at them the same way like, either. They, yeah. they failed, but that's what made them great. Like exactly. they they, yeah. they went they went yeah. out exactly. at times they went out at times exactly. and fucking they bombed like they're just like fuck yes. I fucked up right they still showed up right yeah. even if they didn't yeah. show up mentally they still like were on the field right right Did you ever hear like the old friend, like showing up is half of it <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah like you know what I'm saying you know yeah you know what yeah sure no definitely so I definitely. And I, I did read some Twitter comment and of course the ones completely defending her I'm like but you guys never played sports <laughs> yeah right. so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like you're all, you know what I'm saying? Like these right. are the same people who've like right. are in the basements who are, are so white and they've never seen the sun before, and they're like mental health important. It's like, okay, separate that because they can't. Like they're so right. fucking tunnel visioned on their fucking point yeah, yeah, and yeah. your agenda. It's like stop, look at it from all ways. Right. If you were never a competitor, sit the fuck down then because you don't have another way to look at this. I do. Yeah, and yeah. someone was also bringing up the point like, what about that fifth person that was like gonna be on the team? Exactly. You took it. someone's yes. spot. Oh shit! That's a great point. Yes. Who did? Who been like again? Yeah, the one that is and good. And she deserves it. I mean, right. like exactly. Simone Biles obviously was like, yeah, we're picking her first, and it's four spots of either way. Of course. But and, and we're not saying that. The, of course, the fifth spot isn't as good as Simone. We know that. Yeah. But that person's still better than ninety six percent of gymnastics in this country. Yeah. Right. <laughs> of gymnastics her, in the country. Give her Sorry. A shot to win the gold. Right. So put her in the yeah. fucking thing. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like. Again, right. it doesn't matter the sport. And I'm using that word loosely, as we all know. It doesn't matter the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Most Olympic sports well, are sports. Yeah, whatever. I know. I'm not doing that right now. But <laughs> like, uh, Let's just, can we I get, will, though. Can we, can we just get five minutes of materials? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me uh, talk, <laughs> talk, talk about golf or something, how golf's not a sport. Not. Um, and, this, and obviously, this, this takes everything aside, like um, – being like a human being, like I get, like I want people to feel safe, right. and no one should go through that like anguish if it means costing them family or stuff that's really important to them. Right. This is more or less. I'm just talking about you're you're on the field, yes. like yeah, you're you're there yeah, to show yeah. up that day. You're not you're not like oh like I don't know fucking oh like like my car broke down or like oh which is still a shit excuse. I'm so I'm just saying like you're there already. Right. And you're there to perform. Everyone's like rubbing your shoulders, like let's go, like mm -hmm. it's time to go. Like I like even if you have that thought running around, I I feel like just people that are at that certain level are able to be like, ah, I gotta do this. Yeah, I gotta go out and do my thing. Like even you know I'm feeling kind of bummy today. Yeah. I'm just I don't know. It surprised me no one on our team tried to push her. It was probably just like okay, if you don't feel like it, then uh, that's true. Yeah, it would be. Here's the difference between Michael Phelps and Simone Biles. Okay. He's a dude. No. Well, that's definitely no, true. No. He's a dude. No, but here's the other that is thing. a difference, though. Ray Lewis actually motivated him. He stabbed someone? No. <laughs> <laughs> he is hit that the trick? He hit his suit and then gave him motivation. He also, he no, also, he also gave him a bong. He's he like, here, rip this, son. But, but Ray Lewis, like, before he was get, before uh, Michael Phelps went out to do, like, was going to break the record of most uh, gold medals, he didn't know if he was going to go in. He was like, I don't, I don't feel like this is me. Like, I don't like all this pressure, right? And Ray Lewis gave him the fucking biggest pep talk. And he of like, course, Ray Lewis is like, you know. Dude, the, I, can only, I can see Ray Lewis giving the pep talk. He's like, you gotta go out there. <laughs> so that's the difference. I think we need to send Ray Lewis. <laughs> yes, to yes. be the motivational speaker yes. for the U.S. Olympic team. Please, please, so she can be on her way to become Listen. great. You are the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, if you don't go out there, I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you already have a white jumpsuit. 
<laughs> let's, let's arrange this. Let's subtweet both of them and say, hey, <laughs> we got a motherfucking I'm idea. I'm kidding. I, I love you, Ray Lewis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not get stabbed. <laughs> well, if you sit down and pray with him. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I don't know. But that's still, that's still like a shitty excuse. Like, okay, right, like, so we all need Ray Lewis as hype men? <laughs> like, no, man. You <laughs> no, still but I guess my mother thing is. That's still what went out there, probably. <laughs> like, no, for sure. But I'm just saying, like, Motivation. Yeah, no, you definitely. I mean? But can I also? I guarantee. Also, in today's climate, if they did push her, the hell it would have been. U.S. Olympics team pushed mentally, like yeah. like not mentally That's challenged. challenged. <laughs> you <laughs> mentally, do. You do have uh, to be un- that like, unfit to be great, mom- though. What you, you need like that like autism focus to be like I'm just doing. We this. talked about that on the porcupine actually. Uh, 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 Nick Ashley and myself, which I don't know if you're hearing that a little bit. Like yeah. we, were, it was just true. I feel like. Everyone, I feel like, like every every entertainer or sports person, we're all on the spectrum somewhere. Like it's so like vague. Technically, we're all on the spectrum. So I'm saying, but we're more towards the middle. (laughs) (laughs) We're more. We might be heavier on the. We're heavier uh, in the middle. (laughs) (laughs) We're a little light on the ends, (laughs) but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, we're all. Stop making loud noises, please. Right. Like we're all that. (laughs) Yeah. Like right, we, we all like like cause, like what drives us to want to talk shit to sh- in front of strangers like for validation? That's fucking crazy. Yeah, right. And like some some like, off, yeah, yeah, for sure. So like it's yeah, we're all fucked up. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you gotta push that aside if you're doing a fucking sport, <laughs> especially if you're the captain. Right. Yeah. That, yeah, that's your captain. That's your captain. Like ah, uh, if you're wearing the C, oh you gotta no. take C shits. <laughs> I never heard that before. Making it up. That, Making it yeah. Yes. That's, I love that. Oh, by the way, we have merch. Oh, we have yeah, merch? we do have merch. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull it up. Let me yeah. It. yeah. Fucking buy our shit, everybody. <laughs> uh, drop tent dot, oh, I think it's dot com slash yeah. store. Are we, are we doing plugs in the middle of the uh, no, podcast No, but now? it just we, reminded me. Changing things up. Well, I'm happy you mentioned it. We'll yeah. Mention it again at the end of the episode because I know you guys are looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next month, we, 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 you get for, like three free, free samples a month. So like I we already ordered three shirts for this month. I already we are two calls and one porcupine. Next month we'll get slapstick one. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Dude. Sweet. I'm not gonna uh, wear anything else. I'm just gonna wear that. No they're pants. fucking really nice no shirts. Pants. Yeah. They're really nice. I swear to God, because like Winnie the Pooh on the podcast. We, like like in call we were using like Teespring and Teespring fucking sucks. Teespring sucks dick. Straight up. So hell like, yeah, we're gonna trash some other gonna brands. Lose, we're gonna lose the sponsor. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Their quality, like you, I, I, you would wash the stuff and like the logos would start coming off. And like, uh, cool. Uh, this is weak ink. It's garbage. All, garbage all, all ink falls off, but if you notice it pretty early on, it's like, yeah, it's Let me show you that's something that's not garbage, huh? Let's right. Check out these fucking rings. Oh, those are sick. Also, pull up our shirts. I'll pull up the shirts at the end. <laughs> yeah, those are sick. Dude, the top comes off like a fucking Polly's, Polly's pocket thing. Wait, so you put your cocaine in there? Like, yeah, look at it. I would. No, don't don't play the video. Just, no, just I'm closing keep, it. Keep, keep going to the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like closing player for five minutes. Yeah. Keep so going, so keep the, going down. Look, look at that shit. It wow. pops off, dude. That's sick. And it shows the fucking scores of the whole cha- the playoff yeah. game. Oh, God. And it says wow. the score because it's the first time a team won in their home stadium. Yeah, is that the first time ever? Yes. That's awesome. How do you know that? I fucking don't care. Okay. <laughs> um, they, <laughs> they, um, Cow- that, that is crazy, though. Cowboys had, like, a few chances like seasons, but like they would be like ten and zero, and then they just blew it. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like it was, I remember one the one day, day Green Bay won. Yes, yeah. um, so fun. That's yeah. what the Cowboys lost. For, yeah. the, for those who's listening in, uh, we got it's fucking gorgeous. It's, just, it's all gold. Super Bowl like, rings. I don't know how many fucking so diamonds they, they, are they, on oh, it. Oh, so they broke down the what each diamond means and each ruby. I I, I cannot remember yeah, from the top of my head, remember, but they they did break it down. A bunch of fucking they always break it down. Yeah. It's, it's fucking nerd. How do you I, how do you make jewelry nerdy? I know, right? Yeah, yeah, man. But that thing is nice, dude. That first Bucks championship team was fucking their defense. One of the best defenses of all time, hands down, easily right. top five. Just, it just all came together. Fucking right. so good. Like every like they had like legit studs at every like level, like D line uh, like through. You know what I'm saying? Like D line right. linebacker DBs. Like they were just fucking killers. Nice. Uh, did you, um, see the finals? Yeah, I, I did watch the last game. Well, I watched the last two minutes. I watched okay. Giannis fucking crushing it. Well, he's... 50 points? Oh, Damn, it's dude. Inspiring. Yeah, that and was like, inspiring. Simply, uh, I have, like, it's... I got emotional with that, too. Uh, well, yeah. how could you oh, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Giannis yeah. is such course. a, such yeah, a cool-ass yeah. dude, too. If you ever listen to him talk, he's all, like, just humble as fuck, down to earth. 
Um, like, so he has a whole spiel on being in the moment as opposed to, you know, being someone It's like, oh, like I did all this shit in the past. I'm really good. Or like, I'm going to beat you. He talks about like just healthy ego shit, which is refreshing yeah. to hear having his ego in control as opposed to someone being like really good and they start losing or someone being, uh, don't think they're good enough. And then you're some mobiles at the Olympics. Um, <laughs> yeah. but dude, the final shit, I mean, rest of the team, let's be real though. The rest of the team really helped him out. Yeah, they, they helped yeah. him shine. Um, Kyle Day, um, Bobby, Milton, er, right? yeah, yeah, everyone else like really helped him. But dude, he was just going off. It was awesome. Yeah. He was running back and forth on the court, doing rebounds and dunking. Dude, I was <laughs> like, dude, this is like watching like NBA those Jam fucking, or something. Uh, those black <laughs> shots off the boards that he does, are right? Fucking, it was like uh, tr- uh, oh, so track inspiring. Down blocks are fucking sick. So inspiring. Yeah. It was. Oh my god! It, everything, yeah, I I can see why you got, you got emotional. I was probably getting emotional too. Yeah, because it's like that thing is like you know it's like if I wasn't too busy being a man and crushing <laughs> beer cans on my head and fixing my car, um, <laughs> but it was just oh, and yeah, I'm saying I'm, I'm happy someone like that won. Um, yeah, I'm, for sure. I would I would love to see Chris Paul, um, win a, a ring. Day, That's yeah. a shame the Suns didn't make it. They played great ball, but it was just. It was just the Bucks' game. Yeah, I'm, I'm just the whole psyched series, like a new team. Time. I know that's not the first time they won, but it's the, it's the first time they won since the 70s, right? 70s, yeah. Yeah, like that, I, I'm glad they might not, as well just invented Milwaukee. I'm gl- like, <laughs> that's I, what I'm saying. I'm glad I, I think I'm glad it's out it's there. Not, like, I'm glad it's not like the Lakers. Do they have internet or, like, out Boston. there? I don't know. I'm glad yeah. it's like a different team. Yeah. yeah. And the Suns, they won too. Like, when's the last time they won? 90s? Who? Bucks? The Suns. Suns? No. The last, 80s? Well, yeah, the last time they. 90s. Did Steve Nash ever win? No. No. Really? No. He's never he's he's only won jewelry with Golden State when he was consulting them. Oh, that doesn't count. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> not, not no, it doesn't count as a player. No, no yeah, he, yeah. he has a ring. I don't give a fuck. I meant you know what I meant right. <laughs> you know? I don't right. think the Suns have ever won. Really? Yeah. No way. I don't know why I said I'm surprised. I'm looking it up. How many basketball teams never won? I feel like every team's won. Oh my god, we've went over to this. We have. <laughs> <It's been laughs> <so insane. laughs> Is the Suns one of them? Right. 93. Oh, they won 93? I said the 90s. I wasn't, I wasn't born yet, so I don't... Like, I again, was. I don't <laughs> right. You guys... Talk, oh, like talk, seven. <laughs> talking to your buddies on the telegram. Like, oh my God, this one's just Fuck you, bro. Yeah. It's Morse code. Yeah. Uh, um, Campfire. Well, I'm glad yeah. that like, Aaron Rodgers was able to get like two rings in Green Bay before he's going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get two or he got one? He's a minor order owner of uh, the Bucks. Oh, that's right. So he'll that's get right. Ring. That's right. Awesome transition. Let's let's get into the. Um, oh yeah, let's see that press conference, son. Yeah, what's got, what, uh, what did he I get into? Dude, I'll be su- I'll be super shocked. Don't show this. We'll I get pulled. Show, no, I know. Um, I'll be super shocked. Uh, I was super shocked to show it to Kent actually. Yeah. Well, let's let's just listen to it because I got a queued up for the commer- uh, from where the press conference is, and uh, okay. yeah, let's go. Aaron, what was this all about? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a loaded question. Um, I think Pause for I mean, it. it was, was it? Uh, a lot of things that transpired. Yeah. He, every time he goes through a sentence, he just sounds like he just walked out of a shower. And you're like, Aaron. And he was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> like, 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 like every single time. Like, if you listen to me on Pat McAfee show, right? right. Like, yeah. every, every before he's like, ah. Uh, I'm like, hey, man. Like, it's, it's true. Yeah. It's yeah, so, yeah. I love Aaron Rodgers. I think he's funny, dude, but like. It's very annoying. It's a very annoying right. trait I've noticed with him. It's like every single watch, watch it now, yeah, and it's all you're gonna notice. He looks like a, like a spacey fisherman. Yeah, like someone just been <laughs> on the boat for like all day and they come back. And you're like, oh, how is it out there? Like simple question. And he's like, uh, yeah, it looks like him and Keanu Reeves would have like a really long conversation because they'd just be going oh, a lot to each other. Right. <laughs> all right. I all right. Guess, I guess. But it's like good. now, that's all you guys are gonna notice. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> Play. Like, uh, you know, the draft day <laughs> thing. You know. This was uh, started with a conversation in February um, at the season ended. And I just expressed, you know, my desire to be uh, more lost. involved in conversations that directly affected my job. It's his eyes, um, I think. Also, uh, I wanted to help the organization maybe learn from them some of the mistakes in the past, in my opinion, about. Burn. <laughs> 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 Is it winter in Milwaukee yet? Because they have suffered a burn. <laughs> <laughs> the way that some of the uh, outgoing veterans were treated, um, and just the fact that we didn't retain uh, a number of uh, players that I felt like were core players. I know who was pissed when Randall Cobb and Jordan Nelson left. Yeah. 
high character guys. I'm talking about Charles Woodson. All right. Jordy Nelson, Julius Peppers, Clay Matthews, Randall Cobb, oh, James yeah. Jones. Um, he actually goes out and names John them. John Coon, Brett Coon. Oh, yeah. For, well, I thought Coon retired. Coon, I call him Frogger because he always jumped into the end zone. <laughs> Shout out to my old boy. Dude, Coon was a fucking animal. <laughs> dude, he was the best. I dude, had him in my fantasy. Do you know team. he reminded me of? Uh, he, he reminded me of like uh, Mike Allstock kind of, like uh, uh, like yeah, like a, like a right. big white fullback who could just like plow it through the end zone, but he still get yards. Yeah, he, not as good as Mike Allstock. No, Mike Allstock no, was like no. a fucking freak, but like but kind he was of, a specialty player. and yes. you loved him for some reason. Well, because <laughs> he was like a he was like a hype man. Also, like he yeah. like he would like hype everyone up on the offense. You'd be like, ah, oh, like, you know, like, you, I love those guys in football. Yeah, like, yeah. So yeah, you, that's you why. need the hype. Yeah, you right. need a guy yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. But he, by the way, again, I, I did not watch this until right now, so I didn't know he was going to nail all those guys. No, I know. But yeah. Aaron Rodgers is 100% right. Because when they left those guys, I was like, all right, they're not like out of their prime. Right. right. <laughs> like, yeah. they're still like, Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb are still putting up 1,000 yard seasons. Like, mm. what well, are you. Jordy just retired, but yeah. No, you get traded to the Raiders. Yeah, but he retired from the Raiders. Because my point is, but he's pissed they. No, no, I agree. Crazy. I agree. Yeah, right, yeah. but my point, like, that's what. But he was still a thousand. Yeah, but the but the Packers, like, well, he's, he's getting old. It's like, yeah, okay, but he has a fucking one-two connection with Aaron. Right. They're boys, right, right, and right. also he's still putting thousand-yard seasons up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is that slowing down? Yeah. No, I see your point. Yeah, you know, and same thing with Randall Cobb. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and you had Devontae. Like now, everyone just double cover. And by the way, that's how good Devontae Adams is. Yeah. He gets double covered. He's still putting up fucking seven hundred yard uh, numbers, or whatever yeah. the fuck. Uh, but like. If you have Randall Cobb and Jordy Nelson there still, you can't double him. You can't mm-hmm. double Devontae. So now he'll even put up more numbers. It's like, right. it's yeah. a, we- yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. No, anyway. I agree. Good. Sorry. No, you're good. Dude, TJ Lang, Brian Belaga, Casey Hayward, Micah Hyde, guys who were, you know, exceptional Micah players, Hyde, yeah. worse, but great locker room guys, high character guys. Many of them who weren't offered a contract at all. Or were extremely I like, I like he's whispering. Or <laughs> yeah. like, like he knows he's talking <laughs> shit. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, I'm in the building. Please right. don't. <laughs> they, they, they might hear me. You know, I'm, I'm on a microphone. You know. <laughs> Would it be great if like the, the time he actually like spoke up was with like the names, each name? He just goes, Yeah, <laughs> Michael Hyde, yeah. Brian Bulaga, yeah. <laughs> Charles Woods, Julius Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> John Coon. <laughs> His name is Robert Paulson. His name His is, name is Jordy Paulson. Nelson. Yeah. His name is Jordy Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom. There we go. And not uh, given the respect on the way out that guys of their status and stature and high character yeah. deserve. Yeah, tell um, you what, if he doesn't get Jeopardy, you can always be golf commentating. A commitment for the 2021 season and beyond. Uh, <laughs> that really wasn't uh, given at any time. So for me, I had to assess the situation. Not necessarily wanting to be a lame duck quarterback, especially after an MVP season, which I think you can understand. By the way, um, MVP season. I don't know if you guys knew. Yeah. I was an MVP last year. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, did you guys hear that? That oh, was my dick hitting the ground. Right. Sorry. Yeah, right. Seriously. <laughs> he's just, and look at him. He just like he looks like he's like this is regretful to say. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And then the other part uh, in in February was wanting to be a part of conversations involving free agents, uh, which has never happened in my career. Um, you know, I've I've trained with a number of NFL guys most of my career in the off seasons. Um, my agency at the first has had a number of high draft picks over the years. Uh, I've tried to pass along information. Oh, man. I love this presentation. Um, hasn't really been uh, used, shall we say. Um, <laughs> he's trying to be so nice. Yeah, he's trying to be. He's, like, he's trying right. to walk the fucking line. He's like, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just dropping bombs on you guys right now. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, these things are true as well. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Not sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, that's uh, I, but he's right. Like that's what dude. He gets he gets to the point where it like you watch the rest. I, I mean. No, because like, he, but he, I, I, it's what I don't understand about like these, these f- again, these fucking GMs and front office guys who think they fucking know everything. Mm. You, you're telling me you don't trust Aaron Rodgers' opinion? 
Like, I know, right? Years of experience. Like, that's... Wow, wh- Hall of Famer. It's ego. Right. Not on Aaron, on them. Yeah. They're like, I know more than you. You don't. No. You don't. So, Not on the football field. No. So you're telling me the guy who is on the field with these guys, you wouldn't be like, this guy would be great for us. This guy would be great for This guy not, isn't good for us. Oh, we. I know this guy's weak. This is, what the fuck are you thinking? Dude, he's... Okay, so he goes into this. Okay, yeah. And then... And then uh, and just... The way he says it out. I wanted to offer my services as a recruiter, you know, uh, and I think we can all understand, you know, Green Bay isn't, uh, uh, you know, a huge vacation destination. People are coming here to play with me, uh, to play with our team and, and knowing that they can win a championship here. And the fact that I haven't been used in those discussions was one I wanted to change moving forward. And I felt like based on my years, uh, the way I can still play, that that should be a natural part of the conversation. Um, as that progressed from that point, nothing really changed on that front. Um, so we got into March and the conversation changed. Um, as I felt like, uh, if you can't come into the past 2021. You want to, I'll skip to like. Is it like a, yeah, is it like a yeah. point, and harder that to point? to me seemed like, uh, an analogy that you guys understand. You guys have a fantastic year at work. You write some great stories. You go to your boss and say, I just had an incredible year. I think I deserve a pay raise or, uh, you know, some security. And the boss says, eh, let's just see how it goes. A couple months down the line, you get another job opportunity. You go back to your boss and say, hey, I got this amazing job opportunity. And say, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no we, we love you. We, want you to, we do want you to stick around. We, you know, we do, we do care about you. Just have the same... Uh, feeling, you know, and so, you know, I, I said it wasn't about the money and, and the way that felt, you know, kind of just doubled down on that. Uh, nothing really changed throughout the summer. Uh, there were some, obviously, some developments in the last week or so, but, you know, I was really working on myself and my own mental state throughout the summer and, and uh, at, at various points deciding if I wanted to even keep playing. I think it's a guess. Uh, yeah. But, like, yeah, uh, it's he almost wants to be like, uh, I know more than you, and you guys are stupid. That's what he wants to say. Yeah, we just you just right can't. I also, I'm loving that shower comic because his hair does look wet. It does like, look wet. It's like piecing it together. It's yeah. like, yeah. Um, but absolutely, he's pretty much uh, he's just freely speaking his mind. I like how yeah, I really? like I like how this, that was just one question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for that one. I'm gonna do ten minutes set yeah. on it. Ten, <laughs> ten minute improv. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get all I can in this one yeah. one question. <laughs> I love it. He's just like that's a loaded question. So here's a loaded answer. <laughs> yeah, right. There's there's gonna be chapters to this. Pay yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys sitting down? You guys yeah. grab a seat. <laughs> this for the severely long what, story. What, what do they have in Green Bay? Is it just like stumps that cheese? they sit on? Cheese. Yeah, they sit on cheese, cheese curds. Probably. I think. Cheese yeah, just it. blocks and wheels of cheese. That's that's the press room. I like how he just tries to relate to the, to like the journalist saying like, "Man, you guys are writing a good a, story, a good story. <laughs> and uh, you know." Yeah, like, no, that's impossible for most of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, showing, I'm, I'm showing empathy. I know for most you guys. of you are actually retarded. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know you guys are typically seen as scumbags. Um, <laughs> so here's here's a taste of like empathy. I'm just gonna. Um, I know most of the America truly play. hates all of you right now yeah. <laughs> and sees you as an enemy of the country. But uh, <laughs> let's say you let's well, say you deserve a raise. Right. <laughs> and, uh, it was it was a nice touch trying to like relate, like doing a comparison. So yeah, he's, he's yeah. definitely I think the smart move on him because he's winning the press as well, doing that kind oh, yeah. of like I'm putting myself, I'm, I'm putting myself in uh, your shoes. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, but it, it's not about the money. Fucking, I respect that. It's a little bit. It's about not the about money. the money. It's about sending a message. <laughs> sending yeah. a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, so interesting. I wonder if uh, he, like, let's say he has a successful season again. Mm. Let's say they one day one. If he plays again. He oh, will. yeah, but do you think they get, like? All right, you have all the decisions with us. Probably not in Green Bay, because they don't have an owner. Right, but they have a they have a front office though. They have a, they have a board of directors. It's easier to persuade one person than it is to persuade like probably like ten. Yeah, yeah. but they still have a GM, yeah. don't they? Yeah, I know, but it's usually the GM, right? The, and, like, and, the, GM and the owner, yeah. And the owner. no, I get it. I so, that, yeah. so that's why I'm saying like I feel like I feel like a board though has still has the guy. 
Like even a board of people, they have the yeah, guy. But are the so, are they dumb? Like are they all dumb? Like to no one's like, hey, people people we are, should probably listen to them. Like, pe- you know people are like, no. people are smart groups are dumb. Yeah, you're right. Groups of people when they all act together, they can do some dumb shit. One person like has the insight of being like, well, actually, I can see things to that. But board a board is much harder to swing for that reason. Yeah, is because you have to be like, I need everyone to see it. As yeah. opposed to having one person being like, oh, I can think about this. I can go home. I'm going to talk to my wife about it. Uh, right. See what happens. And, yeah. you know, uh, oh, you actually swung me on. That was a good job. Like, it's, I'm sold. Uh, when you have a group of people, everyone's going to be like, uh. But as I said, typically group, group, groups of people always have that one motherfucker, though. That's just like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can no, convince I all these you. motherfuckers. Yeah, no, I agree. So, yeah. Um, Apparently not in Green Bay. Yeah, going back to your question, I feel like in order, it's just, you brought it up earlier. It's the egos at stake. And it's the clashes of that that's caused this situation. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it just takes some more fucking. Uh, I'm I'm I'm, sh- I'm I don't think we will see it though. I think this might be his last year. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like again, like guys like even seeing like again Brady in like the fucking Bucks jersey, it's like that's weird. Like so seeing him in like a Bronco jersey would be weird. Mm-hmm. It's like ah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. Orange wouldn't look good on him. No, that blue and orange wouldn't look good on him. That's no. what I'm saying. Didn't even look that great on Peyton Manning. It did it. It just looked good at Elway. That's it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Because he was like a fucking slack jaw idiot. Right. Like, <laughs> like it looked good on. Him. Yeah. Why they pick orange? Orange is kind of dumb. Uh, no orange. No, I like. No, I like. They're all orange, with like a little blue. They're blue with little orange. Looks like shit. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, we can. We'll discuss it later. Yeah. We can, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pull that up. We're gonna pull that up with our merch. Um, we're gonna have yeah. some 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 heavy blue and orange uh, how, how merch. Oh, here, here. yeah, uh, we're we're about an hour. Oh, um, real quick, we just had uh, I guess I like talking about really stupid shit. We had a blue face fight. We finally had that happen. We talked oh, about he a beat the show that guy. Yeah, yeah, and then that fan jumped in. This that was a fan. Yeah, I I zoned out yeah, at that yeah. point. It was a fan who jumped in afterwards. He tried to like he spit on blue face and blue face punched him and then everybody beat the show out of this fan. I thought that's how you say <laughs> hi to blue face. Yeah. And you just say, hey, what's up, dude? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got some blue on your face now. Um, I always, nowadays when I see that at the end of a ring, it's like, oh, you guys are just building up a fight. I didn't know it was a fan, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like some, yeah. some no, stupid no, no, press no, no. thing where it's like, oh, like, I'm the next person you're going to fight. No, this dude was legit jumped the fucking, like, ropes. Right. And he just attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're in the era of TikTok boxing. Um of watching people that do not know how to box. It's wild. Box. It's I can't fir- I mean, first I round. It's first wild. round, you're tired as shit. Yeah. I know what it's like mm-hmm. fighting when you don't know how to fight at all. And you're out there and you go, oh, oh I'm a win. And then it's like, oh, second round, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, you, <laughs> you see that confidence go really quickly. Are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I thought that's it. Yeah. Um, Three more times? <laughs> yeah. Um, that, was, yeah. that was on the page card. Um, she got fucking. Uh, she lost too. Yeah, she put up a good fight. She just yeah. faded out in the other check. Dude, she won. Is just hot, and she just stick to that. Right. She can't win a fight. Be like an ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. As a female fighter, she's an ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I represent females fighting, but I'm not gonna be a female <laughs> fighting. <laughs> yeah. um, right. Right. Yeah, that was. She just. Yeah. Did you see her hands at the after the fight? Yeah. The fucking look like balloons. Yeah. Well, see, yeah, I would imagine. I, yours would too, probably. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, of course, I yeah. fucking, these things, I put lotion on them. That would suck. Oh, dude, my hands are so soft. I mean, for a guy who's played football and did MMA for so long, I, I always wore football gloves. Right. Always. Mm-hmm. And I, I always lotion my hands like a fucking dainty. <laughs> so, like a dainty little bitch. So, cause, like, so my hands are so... Because I always never wanted to have like rough calluses. I don't want to do fucking manual labor. <laughs> so, Fair <laughs> enough. <Dear God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adam is literally the dude. nail polish emoji. <laughs> dude, I am. Dude, I am. Dude, I, I hate manual labor so much. And I because my back shit now. I always hated it. I hate it with a fucking passion. I hate it so much. I hate moving. Who has to move furniture? I'm like, dude, I'd rather pay you for a movie combat. I'll pay you money. I'll give you money. I'll pay you money to find someone else to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hate it so much. Yeah. Fucking hate it. Yeah. Why? I hate, I hate, I, I think I it comes work. back from, <laughs> yeah. But I think it goes back <laughs> from, no, when I was like, because uh, I was always like, when I was a kid, I was bigger than mo- other kids. Yeah. And so I was always just used as like a mule for shit. And then uh, I also, I was on the football team forever. Yeah. And they would always use the football team in every school I was ever in to like move all the heavy stuff. Mm-hmm. And I fucking hated it. 
And like you know, no one would really distribute their weight equally as a kid because you're like you, everyone's dicking around. Yeah. And like yeah. so, like just bad memories of that shit. And then as you're an adult and in your early twenties, and people are like, oh, you're young, come move this shit. I'm like, I don't, I'm not strong. Right. <laughs> Back then I was, but I, was, I still want to move shit. And now I'm weak as fuck. And like I don't want to, I have a weak back and bad shoulder. I'm like, I don't want to move. Anything. I, 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 it makes right. sense I just, now, but I'm saying like it just I hated it. I just hate I hated it. I, I never like I never I always hated it. I was like it's heavy. Fucking you're sweating. You're like I I I'd rather do anything else than this right now. You know, I like it's yeah. the feeling of like so you're not a weight room guy. <laughs> yeah, at, at the <laughs> end, hate working out. At the end of events at the end of events, uh when they're like, All right, we'll start cleaning up, like Adam sees like the chairs start piling up, he starts getting PTSD. It's like <laughs> I don't fucking do that. <laughs> these are clean now these are clean <laughs> like i yeah, will right. spend money <laughs> yeah uh it's funny though the, the, the we entire gotta set up the show adam can you pull out yeah. the chairs no i can't no i can't no 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 <laughs> there's too many <laughs> it's great it's great we have an entire sport dedicated to why we invented boxing gloves <laughs> oh yeah. yeah it's like oh that's why yeah. we have them right <laughs> people have fucking hands look the like balloons. so much more brutal to look oh at. the cuts dude i'll say your hands face was fucked up her yeah. eye was fucking fucking like, leaking plastic yeah yeah <laughs> she's so hot too that was a battle of who's fucking hotter right via fists and uh, a man in new york would kill both of them with their bare hands oh yeah that'd be great that'd be the next next event it'll be uh man in new york versus blue face She'd win. She would win. I'm not, dude. Uh, she'd in 100% Atlanta. landslide. Yeah, yeah. Beat the fuck out of him. I'm convinced. Yeah, we. we <laughs> I think most people would probably lose to her. Yeah, yeah. M- I. You think most dudes? Hmm. Not fighters, because right, they'll win. Let's just be honest. <laughs> I just, cause you have Fight, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't win against like once you start reading. It, r- once you start reaching like lightweight. No, even what's what does she fight at? One thirty five. Bantam. Well, she's 135. She I always forget a weight class. And yeah, anyone. If she fights even fellow 135, she's going to get maybe, out of her. Yeah, maybe even flyweight. Mm. Maybe even flyweight. Well, like, it's just like, that man's yeah, yeah, kicks Demetrius in. It's Johnson. Like, it is what it is. But yeah. most, the average Joe, I think, would probably get their ass beaten. Yeah. The average fucking person that, you know, fucking. But looks even at that like. Shit and makes these kinds of comments. They're like, oh, guys. What, I wonder who she could beat. It's like, she probably. Even Ronda. I bet you person. even like Ronda would fuck up most dudes. Like, even jiu jitsu stuff. She would just fucking yeah, tap dudes out. Right. It's Holly, just, just technique. That? Yeah. Holly Holm would fuck dudes up. Like, yeah. again, the average fucking sloppy beer belly guy. He's like, well, you want to fight me, chick? She's like, yeah. And she just fucking one, two, threes him. And he's like, <laughs> you got beaten up by a girl. <laughs> Go down like a toddler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh um, man. Anyway, so yeah, merch. let's go. Let's go. With, let's go with uh, this merch. Shit. Look, yeah. Look at this fucking merch, bro. Look at this merch. So we got fucking merch. Droptent dot com slash droptent dash. Why would he name it that? I'm gonna yell at him. That's dumb. Just how about droptent, droptent dot slash com slash droptent dash store. Or just, just go, dro- just go drop tent. Just go drop tent and then go to the drop store. Tent store. Yeah, yeah like it, it'll be it'll be drop tent dot com slash store. He, sh- he should. Well, I know why. Oh, this is this is not important <laughs> to talk about. Yeah. Anyway, this is sports. What are you talking go about? To, go yeah. to dropten dot com. Uh, go to the store. There's the uh, slash stick shirt right yeah. there. Look at that fucking. Click that shit. It's crazy getting these models to do this for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you get the drop tent that's, logo. That's, that's some inside humor of making yeah. this kind of shit. You yeah. get the drop tent logos on the side with the fucking website on the side. Yep. Fucking sweet, dude. Support us. Support us. Droptent.com. Yeah. Multiple colors. Three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's multiple, though. <laughs> that's multiple. Multiple colors. Light gray, gray, and black. <laughs> more more than one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the logo. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will get, like, a different logo up there. You know, like, a different shirt up there yeah, uh, eventually, sure. too. But this is just we're just starting. Like I said, we just transferred. We only have four pockets up there right now. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll get more for sure. But, again, droptent.com. Uh, for all this stuff, twenty five bucks. Come on, guys. yeah, baby, support, S- support the show. Get some fucking sweet merch while you're at it. It's pretty shrunk cotton, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's important, yeah. right? That's so important. You guys and don't understand. You guys are shirt t shirt guys like me. I love t shirts. I'm telling you, man, that's mm-hmm. fucking super important. Yeah, you like t shirts, but you don't like sleeves. <laughs> Summertime, baby. Sunshine comes out. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess we don't, need hey, don't lift up that arm too, lift too high. <laughs> fine. I guess we need some tanks. We'll have to get some tanks for the show too then. Yeah. 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 Dude, I've I've been, I've been talking I've been trying to talk Neil into trying to find uh like a, a muscle tank. shirt. These are called muscle shirts, definitely. Yeah, which yeah. I know it's silly, but it is what it is. 
uh, a muscle like cult shirt, like a muscle yeah. cult shirt. Like, come on, dude. He's like, how do they sell those? I was like, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on. <laughs> it's like, it fits the brand. <laughs> like, <it's, it's laughs> the brand is you being a jock. <laughs> how is it being, being a jock? Being the bro jock. Being a bro jock. <laughs> how is it? <this> hot? <laughs> and I have a lot of tattoos uh, that look nice. All right. Well, we'll end it on that. <laughs> this has been this has been sports. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You were really in the podcast. This has run. been the number one sports podcast, yes. everybody. <laughs> the number one slapstick sports. Enjoy your time. You know, we sure as hell did. Um, I follow us at Slapstick Cast on both Instagram and Twitter, like our Facebook page. You can follow me at Garamonico Instagram. And uh, that'll be all for me right now. Yeah. Uh, when this comes out, I'll be at uh, Ray's Happy Birthday Bar. So come on out and see me. And uh, follow me on Jesse Pedraza Show on Instagram and on TikTok. Boom. At Adam Nutter and all this stuff. Uh, August 14th, uh, Poppin' Show, Shalph on PA. Plug in that two shows, 7th, 9th, 30, drop tent.com slash events for tickets. Go get them. Bye-bye.